Hello, YouTube. <laughs> All right, we're on day two of our wall rebuild. As you can see, I have cut this um, wainscoting. Had to make these weird cuts to try to get it to slide in there. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just needs to be right. Good enough. <laughs> So what I did was I basically measured the vertical and I cut a piece of the wainscoting because you know I had like two two of those boards and I'm going to use that other piece to cut the ends that go right here. And I decided to do like this instead of cutting a big T section because that would have been a lot of wasted wainscoting and I may not have had enough. And also it's kind of difficult to cut and do weird like this shape right here to measure it out and do it really weird. So I figured I would cut the center and then do each of the sides. That might be more manageable. So breaking a big piece like this into three pieces I thought was the best way to go. Um, there are some mounting hardware here, behind here, which I have to remove, but I have to reproduce at the exact same spot over here. So I can try to measure everything out you know, to figure out how far it is from the top and all that, I may, I will have to do that. But I think it's going to be best to make a template of where the actual thing is. The thing is, I don't have any um, paper or anything. I'm trying to think um, if I can use like a, a bag or, or a clear piece of plastic or something, a big piece of plastic. That would be the most ideal to cut it exactly the size and um, use that as my template. Because if I can do that, then I can transfer it to this one when I go to re-screw everything back into place. So that's gonna be the plan. So let me look for something that I can use and we'll see what we come up with. All right, this may not be the best way to do this. <laughs> but you know, when I was a child, I studied the school of MacGyver. <laughs> so you kind of have to use what you have available and what I could see that I had available that was big enough that I could do this and possibly mark holes and try to get it to line up was this great value heavy duty aluminum foil so what I did was I placed it over the hardware that was here and it's still here and I used it to make holes see I, I know it might be hard to see the holes here but I don't know if you can see those holes there there's a hole there and another hole there those are the screw holes and then there's a hole here and another hole. Where's the other hole? Right there. That's the screw holes. So that's the screw hole for the tops and I did the same with the bottoms. It's gonna be kinda hard to see, but it's there. And then to measure how low down I went, I made sure that I went from this ledge right here and I lined it up to this line. Right here, this line right here where the screen is. And I went down from the ledge and it's six inches to the top of the um, aluminum and then um, yeah so I wrote on here six inches at the top and this line right here is the center and that's how I'm going to transfer the pattern to that one as I'm going to take out the hardware I'm going to screw or, or um, tack this one into place then put in the, the hardware using the aluminum foil at least uh, that's the plan <laughs> we're gonna see how well it works if it works, hey, here's an idea. <laughs> Stay tuned. Well, here goes nothing. We are removing the old screws. By the way, these um, RV screws, they use this uh, square tip. I forget what it's called, but it's a little square tip. And I think it says number 20 or something. If I'm not mistaken. But basically, it goes in like that. It can also use like a cross point. So we're going to go ahead and undo each of those and then save the hardware to be remounted. It's also worth noting to look at how it goes. <laughs> so it goes with this slotted side upside down. So the slot side is on the bottom. And I'm filming this document for myself in case I forget. So maybe it doesn't hurt to take photos or um, make videos. So the, the top part goes with the slotted side down so that the lip can catch and hold. And the bottom goes with the um, slotted side up. So it doesn't hurt to, to have this for reference. And I'm just going to film this and step back so we can see how everything goes. Bottom side up. And also when I take it out, I'm going to lay it out like that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that piece and just lay it right here. I'll take this piece and lay it right here just to remind myself. And also see that 
it kind of lines up almost like that to help me find the hole on the aluminum foil. So this is just being shot so if I have to review this video to see how it all looks. So we'll go ahead and finish unscrewing everything and uh, see what happens here. Alright, I've successfully removed all the hardware and I've laid them out the way they're going to go. And there was a little hole here, so I stuffed it with a little bit of um, styrofoam uh, insulation that I had laying around. Just to fill that little hole. I could rip this whole wall out and redo it, but um, I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, those of you who are purists will say, hey, you should do that. No. Uh, it, it, what's going to be under here, I think they had a block of wood here to hold everything together. Because you can see I started to scrape it when it was wet, but I decided to just let it dry out overnight. So it's dry now. I'm going to put the new panel right on top of it. We're not going to rip the whole thing out and have the whole window collapse and fall in. <laughs> no, we're not going to do that. So we're, gonna, we're just going to put the new panel on here, clean it up, try to get the walls up, and then um, see if we can't get the window, you know, the, uh, the blinds and stuff up here, and get this room habitable. Because uh, the next step was pretty much the last major thing, which is to get the roof panels up, which is going to be kind of difficult because they're huge. So I gotta figure out how to sectionalize it and um, try to do it so I can do it by myself or maybe when my wife comes in to help. The issue though is I don't know how much help my wife really will be because um, she's kind of short. <laughs> and, you know, you gotta be able to have somebody hold it up and move things around and stuff. So I don't know if she's gonna be able to do that. But we're gonna go ahead and uh, try to get this on. I'll show you what happens. The plan is to slide this um, Wayne's coating into place tack it into place using my um, little nail gun, the braids, rads, braids, whatever they're called. And then we're going to measure and cut the end pieces, close this out and say, woohoo, almost done. All right, the wainscot um, for this uh, dinette area has been placed and I have tacked it down using this handheld uh, brad gun, nail gun. And so all that remains to be done now is I need to put this back up over the wainscot, line it up like I had it previously, and put the hardware on. So we're going to see how well this works or doesn't. Stay tuned. I um, used my measuring tape here, a real measuring tape, <laughs> and I hung it at the bottom ledge like this. I think that's where I had it initially. I lined it up to that, and that's my center. So I brought it down like that, and with the six inches, it looks like I got it a little bit off, but that's all right. A millimeter or whatever's not going to hurt. Table may be a little bit off, but that's okay. Doesn't matter, I don't think. So I think I got it leveled. Um, let's double check here. This should be about... The center here is a little bit... It's a little bit shy of six inches. And the center here is a little shy of six. And a little bit... This one's... A little, quite a bit shyer than six. So I'm trying to figure out why went, they went up. You know, it looks like they're straight. I might have to bring it down a little bit more. Because, depending on how well I measured initially, I think I do need to bring it down. Uh, maybe like a millimeter down lower. So I'm going to do that before I um, start drilling holes. Alright, I just wanted to show you guys how I'm measuring this. I'm doing six inches. So it's about six inches. And I'm doing the ends also. So now we just got to try to keep everything somewhat straight. You see it should be six inches. And then what we're going to try to do is kind of tape this down a little bit. And use the holes that we have pre-made to put in our hardware. At least that's the plan. Okay, one of the first things I did was find my holes that I had marked. And I'm just taking a screw and just making holes. Real holes using the screws, but you can see I'm not mounting everything yet. I could simply put the hardware on it and screw it into place with the aluminum foil and then rip off the aluminum foil if there would be some stuck underneath or whatever. That's one way to try it, but I don't really want the aluminum sitting under there. So I'm just going to drill the holes, the guide holes, where they're going to go, the hardware. Then I'm going to remove the aluminum and then put the actual hardware there. That way I don't have to deal with having aluminum stuck underneath there, even though it may not be visible. Believe it or not, that would kind of annoy me a little bit. <laughs> Even though right behind the wall we see this big mess that should be really annoying me, but we try to do what we can. All right, I managed to put in a hole here, a hole here, 
there, 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 there. I didn't put in all the holes because once I have the top holes in, the bottom, you know, will be self-explanatory. So we're going to go ahead and try to pull off the aluminum foil now and see if we can't get this working. I'm trying to take the aluminum foil off without ripping it or damaging it just in case I messed up and have to reuse this template. So until I know everything's good, we want to try to preserve our template in case we have to reuse it. Here then are the holes that we drilled as our guide. Hopefully they'll be good enough. So we're going to put that there. And um, I'm going to double check to make sure that's six inches. <laughs> make sure I didn't do the bottom. You know, the holes that I drilled, I think they were the top. I'm pretty sure they're the top. So I'm going to measure the height, the distance from there to there, and it should be about six inches or so, if we did it correctly. Okay, I measured it, and it's over seven inches. And what I realized when I looked at the template is the holes aren't exactly at the top. There's like an extra inch right there. So it is at the, the right place. That is the top line where the, um, the hardware goes. So we're cool. Okay, that roughly is how the hardware is going to go on there. I need to put the bottom screws and I need to do everything else. You might be wondering why I don't bother to sand this down, paint it, primer it, and do all that stuff to make it look nice. Um, because that's, once again, the correct way to do it. Uh, the reason I'm not doing it is uh, time and money. If I have to sand everything down, I have to paint it, I have to dry it, put it back in, it'll take more time, it'll cost more money, and I'm kind of rushing this. I don't know how much longer I'll be at this park. It depends on whether or not I'm able to keep my job. Um, because, like, right now, I'm everything that I'm getting, you know, earning and stuff is kind of going towards living expenses. Bills, child support, gas expenses, food expenses, um, getting back and forth to work and, and paying rent to stay here. It's really nice here because I have power. Some of you are wondering about power and water and stuff. It's included in the cost. So I know what my living expense is each month. And it's kind of expensive. But if I can uh, keep this job that I'm at at the uh, space agency, if they keep me there longer or I end up getting a job there, then this becomes my new normal, which should be the first time in, like, really a very long time to have normal in a place. Although there's some weird stuff about this place, which I'll talk about later. But for now, we're going to go ahead and try to get all the hardware on. Check out the table and see if it still comes back. This whole table is going to be rebuilt because it's crappy, um, that pressed wood stuff. And you can see there's mold on the other side. It is just bad, nasty. So I'm going to replace all that, the whole table there. But um, for now, it's just getting everything, the hardware lined up and making sure that the table will still fit. So the new table that I make will have to match the old one because it's using the same hardware. All right, I've got the hardware on. This one looks like it might be a little bit off. I might have to redo it. Looks a little lopsided. So I may have to shift it a little bit. Shouldn't have screwed it all in, but we'll, we'll try laying out the... Um... In fact, I can see, I can visually see it's lopsided. So I'm gonna go ahead and loosen it up and try to straighten it out. All right, I managed to get it a little bit more straight. I made a little damage there, but not too bad. We're going to try to put the table on and see how well that works. And then when we rebuild this, we have to try to reproduce the same height, the same proportions, the same placement to make sure the hardware all fits. So let's try it out, and uh, hopefully this is part of it is done. Well... We ended up with semi-success. Semi I guess it, it didn't line up exactly. I messed up a little bit. And I tried to put it on. And the rotted table wood has broken off. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. It broke. So this table is shot. I will go ahead and build the replacement. And I'm looking at it right now. And it seems pretty high up. So... It looks like it's tilting down, but see, this whole thing was kind of warped and bad anyways. So, at this point right now, I'm just going to have to try to mount that where it belongs. And hopefully I don't have to lower everything. You may have to lower things. We'll see what happens here. You can see this is shot. It's made of this stupid um, 
I don't know why they do like like that. I guess it's because it's cheap laminate board or whatever it is. So I'm gonna make a table. I'm gonna use this as a template and make a new table. Hopefully about the right, right size. Hopefully it'll be the right height. If it's not the right height, I'm gonna have to adjust it. Which means either raising or lowering that part, which is gonna be kind of bad, but if that's what's gotta be done, that's what's gotta be done. So we'll see what happens. Stay tuned for, I guess, part three of this wall or part one of the dining room table installation. Until next time, everyone, thank you all for tuning in. I am going to go ahead and try to finish up the laminate wall and close out this section and try to do the panel. That way I can put up the, um, I can put up the, the blinds and call this part done. Well, not really done. It still needs, um, I don't know what it's called, some kind of trim, but mostly done. <laughs> Until next time, everyone, take care. God bless you all. Wanted to uh, put a call out for all the patrons. Thank you so much for joining the channel um, patron page. Your funds are helping me to continue the rebuild. Um, as, I, as you know, funds right now are being diverted mainly to just pay for um, being able to keep the RV to stay at this park. But um, if we can keep the videos coming out and the channel continues to grow and more people join Patreon, um, this might be something doable. This could become my new life. Well, until next time, everyone, take care. God bless you all. Please stay safe. Bye-bye now.